Welcome back to another video, folks. Now, at the risk of boring you with up-to-date progress on the building of the platforms, today's video we are trying to get two of the big 9-meter yurt platforms done, as well as take down an old 9-meter platform. Okay, new day, starting by taking down this platform. This was built using free timber. It's just I-beams that we made out of all this thin, super thin wood that we actually clad the entire upstairs of this barn with. We've got so much free timber, probably about 40,000 euros of timber we've picked up in the first few years to build everything out of. And the reason it was free is they have big industrial pallets here that get tipped over and they don't have staff to pick it back up they just have big machines and then there's also been big dimension timber that's weather damaged just a bit gray at the ends and we've either been given or bought very cheaply so it's allowed us to do stuff but this one is going to be easier to take apart there's a bit more wood we're making stacks we're going to burn some we're keeping all the good planking that we can and we'll save some for the firewood throughout the summer for, this is like social space that we hang out outside the sauna. And then we've been given permission to cut trees. So although we've bought the forest, we hadn't officially signed the contract yet, but that letter has come through from the, the uh, estate agents. So now that means we can go up in the forest, cut the four trees that remain inside the yurt platforms. And we should be able to get the yurt bases up today, although we still need to cut a few pieces down in the yard and get them up into the forest as well. Well, there we go. Time to get up into the forest now. Okay, number one went well, fell that into the gap. We've got a little gap here that will make a good felling arc, hopefully missing that foot. Should miss the foot, but a little bounce back, but we'll see. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> Okay, second yet up here, we've got two trees again. We've got a clear pathway for felling straight out that way. And this one, we're gonna fell in this little gap straight that way. We're gonna take the feed out and on this corner post to make sure we don't damage any of the footings. And then we're ready to start building. Okay, so trees down up here for both the yurt platforms, but we've got to go cut some more pieces. We're missing all the inner beams. So I'm going to go down the yard, cut them, and we'll get a start putting these metal brackets on like we saw in the video yesterday. A little bit slower progress today. We've done more logistical things this time. So we started the morning by taking down the second yurt platform from the yard, lit a fire to get some of that scrap burnt up and now the afternoon shift we've got the two bigger yurts so these are the same as the three platforms that we did yesterday before lunch we're going to try and get these done in the afternoon and call it a day and then we are estimating that if we keep working well by Sunday we reckon we could get them all done and the two in the yard built maybe lots of logistics to move material up here can't actually get the tractor up this hill so we have to carry some poles up now and we'll probably have to find a way to get the cladding up all the decking boards it's going to be difficult because without the tractor we'll have to put them on the rhino with a trailer and take small amounts at a time it's going to be logistical so we'll see how that goes but we'll crack on with these for now Whew. having to walk these panels in these are four tens they're quite heavy with treated timber we're going on the other side of on that side. <sighs> a little bit heavy, some of these treated timbers, especially when you get the heavy wood in the center of the tree. It's quite a lot. Okay, so we've got the heavy center beams and then we've also got to trek up the hill with the 45 degree cut ones, which are 
down the hill at the base. Then we're ready to get building. So these, whilst nine meter diameter, are, they're basically exactly the same framework as the small teepees that we saw in the last video. In the big teepees, if we get round to them, they're slightly different. They're gonna have a whole extra middle pole and a whole extra pole with a 45 degree end to keep the distances at a max. Now this is about 75 centimeters. That's as wide as I wanna go so that we don't get lagging in the decking boards. Traditionally, you always stick to about 60 for things like this, but we're working with the capabilities. It's 28 mil thick cladding, uh, uh, decking that we're putting on top. So I think it's gonna be fine. And so very much the same as the structures we saw before, but a lot bigger. And if you compare this to the yurt platforms we just ripped apart, much more elegant and graceful. Okay, come back from lunch and finish this yurt platform. I'll put it on wide view. So it's 3.30 now. This is a nine meter diameter platform. It looked more wonky to begin with, but it's squared out perfectly true, just like all the others. Very, very nice. So we have time now to get the other one done before dinner. Seems very stable. It's a bit more logistical, having to take trees down, having to carry timber up over here. We've got the 10 cross beams for this one are in the yard still, and I can drive them down on that path, but only as far as there. We're gonna to have to carry them even further for this one. It's not too big a deal, but they are very heavy. They're heavier than they appear. This treated timber is super dense, but good progress. get the tractor up this way this is as far as I got in the snow but we can maybe manually move these I've got to cut the rest of the tree away to unblock the road but maybe I'm gonna try getting up here it's a bit steep and there's a big hole under here but we'll see because it's much easier than carrying the heavy timber <laughs> okay trusty coyote got a chainsaw time to go Okay, see how far we get this time. Okay, can't make it further than that. It's too wet, too boggy, and too crazy to get up this bit. And it feels like too much weight on there that will really swing things. So don't want to have an accident. Just gonna carry it up from here and we'll get on with it. Ah, logistics. Taking up the little skill saw because I cut some of the boards the other day. I believe I've cut five boards slightly too long. It's little things like this that just slow down progress when you've got a good workflow going. But it's been a day like that of just logistics, getting things up in the forest and dealing with moving stuff around. It's been so helpful having a machine to get the majority of the timber up. And I'm so glad I did that before the land really thawed out and it started to get muddy and sloppy. It's definitely made the work progress a lot smoother and a lot easier. And yeah, exciting. The, the two really big platforms are right on the farmyard. So it feels close to home, even though there'll be some logistics moving material around there. But I think we're at a point where tomorrow we can get cracking on the decking and we'll get a nice workflow going with that and see how far we can get. And hopefully it seems like we will be able with William's help if he's here till the weekend and possibly at the weekend we should see some ma major progress so super excited
Okay, number two finished. Perfect. It's only quarter past five. We're going to call it a day. Just pack the tools away. Funny day. It's felt more challenging than yesterday with little hiccups throughout the day. But we got done exactly what we aimed to achieve today, which was taking down the original uh, teaching yurt platform, as well as putting up these two yurt replacements. Such finer geometry in these. Very happy about them. And what we'll do with these taller ones, where you've got higher legs that they're standing on, I'll probably come up here and just put 45 degree braces on the taller legs. Certainly on the shorter platforms, you don't feel any movement or travel at all. But with these, because they're so big and heavy, I think it would benefit from just peace of mind, feeling that they are totally secure. But I'd say it's another cracking day's work. We've got to the point now where we can start putting on the decking tomorrow. And if we work well to the end of the weekend, we could certainly get a long way in getting the big TP platforms up. Can't wait to show you those TP platforms and the TPs that go on them. They're incredibly huge structures that are taller than the barn. So they're going to be quite imposing and show quite a different view uh, on the main yard. Thing of beauty. Perfectly level. Boom. Boom. <laughs>